Welcome to Road Ideas with Susan. Today I have a simple target game to share with you and object lesson on the topic of sin. Now you can get a target printout maybe from your manual or the internet or you can make a simple one just like this. Once we were dead in sin, but now we are alive. For Jesus died for us and he rose back to life. Now we believe in him. All our wrongs have been made right. I like to play the game at the beginning of the lesson, so I get a bunch of kids up the front and I challenge them to try to hit the bullseye every single time and get a perfect score. And it's no easy feat, as you can see. So I start with the game and then I go into the Bible story. It could be about Adam and Eve, it could be about Moses, it could be about Zacchaeus, it could be about the people of Israel, any sort of Bible story. And then when you get into the topic of sin, I'll say, oh now, what did they do wrong that God wasn't happy with? And we'll talk about that. And then I'll refer to the game and say, hey, did anyone get a perfect score of seven and hit the target perfectly? No, nobody did. Did you know that the Hebrew word for sin actually means to miss the mark, to miss the bullseye? So in archery, when you miss that, it means you sinned. And it's the same way in the Bible. And then I'll ask the questions, did anyone's dart not even hit the target and fall short? Yes, did you know that in the Bible, it says that all of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. That means all of us are imperfect. None of us are perfect like God. And everyone does wrong things like lying, disobeying, hurting others, and being selfish. And then I refer back to the Bible story and we talk about that some more. And sometimes I like to give a little personal reflection. I might say something like this. You know, I know people that do not believe that they sin. They might say something like, oh yeah, that was just a mistake when I lied to the teacher. Oh, that was just a mistake when I kicked that girl at playtime. Oh, that was just a mistake when I took that pencil. And you know, they may never see a need to believe in Jesus because they don't feel like they need to be forgiven because they don't see that they do anything wrong. They just make mistakes. But for people like me, I know I do wrong. I know I am a sinner. I know I miss the mark and I'm not perfect. And you know what? I need forgiveness. I need forgiveness of the people that I've wronged and I need forgiveness from God. And I am so glad that a Sunday school teacher told me many years ago when I was just 11 that Jesus came and he died for all the wrong things that I would ever say, that I would ever do, and that I would ever think. All the times I have missed the mark, Jesus paid for that. And you know what, that's really good news. The other thing is, is by believing in Jesus, I get something really special, and that is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is what helps me to choose to not do the things that are wrong, to choose to not sin, but to choose things that are good and to choose things that are right. And you know what? That's good news for sinners like me. And there's millions of us around the world who know that we are sinners and we need Jesus and we need God. I could then follow the lesson up by showing a clip from my playlist on the topic of sin. And if you like this idea, can you give it a thumbs up and let me know? And if you'd like more ideas or game ideas or object lessons, you can check out my playlist there as well. Thanks again for watching and may God bless you as you teach the next generation about Jesus. This happens like, it's actually hard when it looks. No one's got so much sin. Jesus. You did the roof. At least he's hit the top. Yeah. Lost Devin Owen.